So basically it's the classic game of 21 where it's literally one versus everybody. But the caveat is they can only score with their off hand. So if you're right handed, you have to shoot with your left hand. And the reason why we're doing this is because novelty, it's fun, it's different. Damn, already. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, day one, court, court one, day one, very exciting moment. I think this is probably an unprecedented situation, being that uh, I am a strength coach that has gotten together this many high level basketball players to do a court workout with him. And I think that that's a pretty special accomplishment. And I just wanna be appreciative of the situation as possible, you know, just honor that because not a lot of people doing what I do out there and, I, and, I'm, and I'm very privileged and I do not take that lightly. Let's uh, probably take all our stuff over there since that wall is free. Holiday. What up, man? You good? I got a bathroom. Think so. Thanks, coach. Perfect. So we want to cue pails and rails. Kick into the hand, heel the butt. Kick into the hand, heel the butt. Now I don't stick to the traditional two minute passive, 20 on 20, I don't do that. It's, just, it's, not, it's not applicable, like it's too long, right? So I'll just go like 20 second gas, 20 second pull, 20 second gas, 20 second pull, you know what I mean? And I still get pretty good effective results with that. It's the guy right here, C. Vert. Karis Levert, man. One of the hardest working dudes that I know. Here, you're gonna demo with I. With I and with me. <laughs> that's, the type, that's the type of mood I'm in right now. My, sh my Shakespeare mode right now. <laughs> okay, so first of all, thank you guys for being open-minded because if you don't, if you haven't noticed, you look around like y'all are some high-level motherfuckers about to train together on a court that's not something that's ever done. That's, that's kind of rare and I really appreciate that and that speaks volumes of who you are and uh, I, I know that you'll get a lot out of this training experience. Understand that this is a training period on a basketball court with basketballs in basketball shoes, but that doesn't mean that we're training basketball specific technical skill. I'm not a basketball skills coach, and you guys know that I'm a movement coach, and I know how to make you better as movers and as performers. Putting you in this environment makes it feel more like basketball and you have that connection, but just spare me on being focused on like, guys, I just want to play. I just want to run. I just want to, you know, play two. No, 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 that's not what this is about. We will do that, but the experience is about training and movement. So just have that mindset. Have the mindset that you guys are going to be better movers after this experience, and then also we'll compete after that as well. With your eyes closed. <laughs> yeah, let's keep our hands shoulder height. I want some knee flexion, right? Bend those knees. Every rep is a moment to get better and hone perfection in your movement. Damn! Come on, pro athletes. <laughs> Rock his hips back and then forward. Yep. So what's happening when he goes into this flexion moment? Stay there. There's a lot of motion in his big toe. That's what our goal is. Chico, you can coach other people if you want. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Good job.
job. Get, send those hips all the way back to the heels. The further you send those hips back, the better for the Achilles tendon. Yes, sir. Straight leg. Keep the knee locked out. Keep the foot down. If my coaches tell you otherwise, that's my fault. I didn't tell them what to coach. That's called being a leader. Be accountable for your troops. Please do not rest on yourself. Thank you. <laughs> One foot on the box. The other foot back. Our goal is to drop the back knee without touching. I know you'll be close, but try not to. Then you're going to take your viper, and we're going to do three different movements here, here, and here. I'll dictate when you switch that movement pattern. So this is a hip flexor stretch, all right? right there, good. Drop your back knee more if you, if you can. <clears throat> Drop that back knee, brother. On your end range, I don't want to see you get up. That back leg should be burning, that's on purpose. Quadriceps tendinosis. Remember what we talked about, guys. This is about performance, movement, and health. Okay, I know you're not used to it. We're in a basketball gym and all of a sudden you want to think, let's just play. No, this is a training session, all right? Here we go. I just want everyone to stop and appreciate how stable y'all are. Nobody fell. Some people like shimmied a little, but everyone was pretty solid. Yeah, the only uh, court work you'll find where you spend an hour and 15 minutes warming up. But that's all by design. Got to make sure these dudes are feeling amazing to move perfectly, move with intention, compete. Go higher right there. Go higher right there, please. I'm keeping it underneath me. So I'm not doing this. I'm not kicking out, I'm not creating that tail. So let's try to keep our free foot kind of in the middle of the gap. Good. P, try to create more of a jumping rhythm, which is a step over rhythm. Jump and go, yes. And what we should start to experience is our glutes. Our glutes should start to light up. So when we talk about this free leg and we keep it in the middle of the stance, the pelvis is forced to stay even. When the pelvis is forced to stay even, that support stance glute has to stabilize. And that's why I say you should feel your glute. This is glute activation because it applies to the speed and velocities that you guys will experience later on. That's important that we see those exposures before we actually play. Does that make sense? Allow a little bit of exposure of what you're going to face in the game in the warm up. He's going to get into a wide base and an upright posture. And give me a dribble pattern, anything. In and out cross, in and out cross, right? As he's doing in and out cross, I'm trying to pull him over. That's it. So what does he have to do? He has to stabilize and operate quality stability thinking while doing in and out cross. So you've got to multitask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull. Eyes up, chest up. Eyes up, chest up. Good. Pull, pull, pull. Try and pull him off. Let your feet move too. Let your feet move a little bit too. Good. It's an hour and 30 minute warm up to play. <laughs> There you go. Challenge that handle. Challenge that handle. Get low, get low, get low. More tension, more tension. Slow down though, Phil. More tension though. More, 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 make them work. There you go. Good, good. Yeah, sit in that chair. You get to naturally sit in the chair. Offhand 21. Old school 21. It's, it's just a warm up game. So basically it's the classic game of 21, where it's literally one versus everybody. But the caveat is they can only score with their off hand. So if you're right-handed, you have to shoot with your left hand. And the reason why we're doing this is because novelty, it's fun, it's different. It's, I want them to loosen up. I don't want it to be a series. That's the reason why we're doing that. Damn, already. <laughs> Damn, y'all guarding the shit out of that. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Ha, ha, ha.
90 seconds. Oh shit, Ray, one footer! Hey! Fifty-five seconds. Don't let him do that, Philly. Be live. Turnover. Let's go. I thought that the session went extremely well. It was very smooth. I think we should give credit to the guys. They were open-minded. They showed a lot of effort and attention to detail and everything that I was talking about. Every session that we do, there's a script. There's, there's a workout plan. The rule of thumb is always over-plan or over-prepare because it's easy to cut fat out or trim the fat out. Yeah, we're gonna skip Viper because we're running late. It's hard to make stuff up on the fly when you don't have enough. And luckily for me, I had more than enough planned. So it was easy for me to just kind of maneuver and navigate through my script of what I wanted to do and what I felt was important. Also, communication. I think I could be better at my communication. Karis, use both balls, use both balls. Offhand 21. So you're right handed, correct? No, no, four there, four there. Does anyone not know what they're doing? I need to learn how to coach to multiple different personalities and learning skills. I need to over communicate. The happy median that is challenging to find is sometimes athletes get annoyed with over communication and some athletes need it. So that's, that's something that I need to find the middle of. But all in all, I think that it went really well and I'm very pleased about day one. Given that I've never done a court workout with seven NBA caliber players. That was a, that's a first time for me. I've done four or five, but not seven. And you know, those types of numbers, you gotta get really creative to keep everybody engaged. So I'm happy about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.